to my channel okay so today i'll be taking a few pictures in some fashion nova outfits and i thought it'd be cool to just you know show you guys what i'll be styling today for my instagram post um i think that i'm just gonna use my cell phone and just show you in the mirror the looks you know kind of in motion and all of that it's not going to be like an in-depth haul like i normally do but i just thought that it would be a nice and quick video to just show you guys some styling options and how i style some of my fashion nova outfits this video is also in collaboration with the sore hair the hair that i'll be rocking in these looks is the d sore peruvian jerry curly hair i have in a 16 inch closure as well as i believe two and a half to three bundles of their 14 inch if you haven't seen the video of how I constructed this wig I'll have it in the description box below you know with curly hair you really can um, deal with a lot of tangling and stuff this hair has been so damn good to me and it's really kind of like that throw on type of wig because it's just so big and fluffy like whenever I'm just about to go somewhere really quick girl I throw this on immediately okay <laughs> like on an immediate basis um, I don't have any glue got to be or anything um, with this hair I just put this on and literally go but yes i love the texture of this hair it's absolutely gorgeous and i just love how easy it is this is one of the best wigs that i have made so if you guys are interested in this hair again i will leave all the information in the description box below and let's go ahead and get into our haul Bad thing. Fine as hell. Ooh, it's full. okay you guys so this first dress i think this is called the tide affairs striped dress i absolutely love this dress it is so freaking cute and it's way more flattering than i thought it was going to be because i saw it on two different models from fashion nova and one of the colors that was modeled looked really cute the other one didn't and i just didn't know how it would fit on me so the one that i ended up getting was this like lavender color almost like lavender it's, it's picking up kind of pink on camera but it is more of a lavender type of color it has a keyhole opening here um i decided not to put on a bra because my bra was just showing this whole open portion which is the main reason for this dress so i don't know if i would be able to wear this out with no bra without having a nip slip but for pictures it looks okay i have some shapewear on and i just um pulled it up like halfway and then i just kind of tucked it in so you couldn't see it um but actually without shapewear this dress looks really really good on like you will be surprised even without shapewear i probably didn't even need to put any on i don't know if it's the stripes but it's a really flattering dress it's super soft it's stretchy and i got this in a size 2x and then i went ahead and decided to pair it with some clear strappy heels these heels are older i got them from rainbow but I will not be shopping with rainbow anymore and i will let you guys know about that in another video but um yes yeah. so anyway these are some clear shoppy heels i love this look a lot and yes here's a, a close-up of like the pattern it's 
so that is this beautiful color and great pattern okay you guys our next item is this super cute square necked long sleeve rouged dress it's like a maxi dress it comes well, I don't know if it's a maxi dress for everybody. I would say midi to maxi because I'm 5'4 and it comes to my ankles. So if you're taller than that, then it's going to come up a little higher on you. So I would say this is between a midi and a maxi depending on how um, tall you are. Um, this was a little bit difficult to get into because it has two layers of this rouging going on so to get it kind of situated how you want it to be situated is a little bit um, more difficult than I thought but once you have it on it is so like such a comfortable but bodycon fit at the same time I really love this color it's kind of like a salmon color it's kind of nude flesh tony but it also has a tiny bit of pink like a hint of a pinkish color so that's why i would consider it to be kind of a salmon color or salmon color um and then the shoes that i decided to pair with it these are really old you guys so i don't have any links or anything but i think i got these from gojane.com i used to get a lot of my heels from there um it has snake skin on the heel portion and then the strappy part is kind of a creamish type of color but i absolutely love this dress i think that this would be great or perfect for like a date night or something where you want to dress up be sexy but then also sophisticated at the same time i think the square neck is really unique because you don't see a lot of dresses with a really structured square neck so i really really like that about this so let me give you guys a close-up so this is how the neck is this is how the rouging is what's about the material so that is this super gorgeous color and sexy and sophisticated okay you guys our next look is this super cute off the shoulder crop top paired with this neon green leopard print skirt i actually really like this pair together i paired it with some just black heels that have a gold strap around the ankle and they kind of have like a little chunky heel so and it's a little bit more comfy for me the top comes with a little string that kind of goes on the shoulder and then the rest of it is off the shoulder but I kind of like just to put it all together as one because the string keeps coming down anyway and it's just irritating <laughs> so I just went ahead and pushed that on down um, as far as the skirt I think the skirt is really cute I love the print it's super fun something definitely appropriate for spring and for summer um, now it is a really slinky thin kind of material so it does show um a lot it, it doesn't really hold you in it's really really loose super super stretchy um i do have shapewear on i just pushed it down this is my shapewear i just pushed it down and that's just a little tip for you guys you can um still wear shapewear um especially if you just have a boy short on i have all of my shapewear information in the description box and um the main one that i wear i just kind of push it down if i'm wearing a crop top and i'm taking pictures now if i was wearing this out i'm not sure if i would still wear shapewear possibly if i was like maybe going out to a dinner and just really trying to look super polished then i might wear shapewear but just fyi without shapewear it's not as concealing but i definitely love this skirt i love leopard print and i love to see it in a different variation and also incorporating the neon trend so that is this Cute, colorful and trendy okay you guys and our next dress is the groovy mama dress I absolutely love the concept of this dress it definitely makes me feel like retro 70s and it also has like sexy and business mixed together I don't know if it's the collar on this or 
I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's short enough to definitely be a party dress, but I also love the structure of it as well. The colors are so beautiful. It's like a lavender, lilac type of color mixed with some blue, some peach kind of color, and then also black and white. I really, really love this dress. I don't have anything like it in my closet, so that's why I like it so much. It's very unique, and I will definitely be keeping this one. It comes with a belt, but it's not, it's like a superficial belt. It's not a belt that you can actually really tighten up. Like if you can tighten this up, it will really make the waist look a lot smaller. Like this is the difference when you tighten it up. But this, and that's ultra cute. That is so cute. This is how I want it to be. But, you know, when you let go of it, it just gradually gets looser and looser. And then it looks, you know, I mean, it looks, it still looks good, but I really like that tight look on it. If you did want to go without the belt, you can do that also. Um, it still does have the belt loops. Sorry if I'm shaky, you guys. Hold on. And this is what it looks like without the belt. I still think it's really gorgeous. Um, and I just decided to pair it with something nude because, you know, it already has a lot of colors in it. So I felt like, like a heel that would actually match the color of my skin, kind of. Something that's nude for my skin tone would go really well with this. And here's a close-up of the pattern. And what it looks like and also i did size up in this it says on there it has zero stretch and it doesn't have any stretch at all so i got this in a size 3x so that is this this is super super cute and definitely gives retro vibes okay you guys and our final item is this gorgeous gorgeous rust orange color i'm trying to get the lighting right is this gorgeous gorgeous rust colored like rust orange colored bandage dress um it is completely covered in the back and then the front has like a little sliver of skin showing here i think that this is absolutely gorgeous like so so pretty the color just drew me to it immediately i decided to pair it with these shoes here some like crisscrossy shoes that kind of tie up they're kind of camel color um and kind of matches with my skin tone i think this is called the let's take it slow dress and um because it's bandaged the material is pretty hard to get into i'm wearing a size 2x um one thing i think that I should note is that the breast portion of this I tried to wear it with a bra but it is so slender like it is very slender so you can either see the bra on the top portion or you can see it underneath here so or like right here you can see it so I just decided to go braless with this but it's so tight to the body that it actually does hold them in but if you have an issue with going braless or you don't want your bra to show then you would probably have an issue with the fit of this but if you're okay with those two things I think that this is so freaking cute this is like so cute this is definitely like birthday material like going out to dinner showing out coming in a bright color but not too bright and you know <laughs> coming there popping let me give you a close-up so this is a close-up of the material and it has like these slits on the arms it's like a three-quarter sleeve and then you can still wear your shapewear I already had shapewear on so I just um, pushed it down I mean and it fits pretty good and then in the back the back is all the way covered so you won't see anything coming from the back so yes, I thought that this was absolutely gorgeous. Super, super cute. Just be mindful of the fit. I'm, again, I'm wearing a 2X. I had to do some shimmying to get into this, but I feel like this is how it's intended to fit. So yes, you guys, this is my final piece. If you like hauls like this or 
if you like this idea just doing a quick you know haul i don't know how quick this is going to end up being but if you like me to do like if i'm just showing a few pieces just doing it with my cell phone in the mirror if you're cool with that and you like it let me know in the comment section below and i'll do a couple more hauls like this for you guys um i know i already kind of do it with my get ready with me um but if you if i'm only showing you like a few pieces let me know if you like this style as well so i hope you like this video as much as i enjoyed filming it for you and until my next video have a blessed day have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next one bye <music>